How in the heck in today's world do you save up for a down payment on a home? I mean, inflation, cost of gas, food, you name it, everything's on the up and up. It's really hard to stack up savings for a lot of buyers, both first time buyers and move up buyers who have already bought their starter home. So here's five tips how in today's world to save up for a down payment because it's absolutely still possible. Number one is automate your savings. There's a lot of ways to do this. You can set up a dedicated savings account that automatically every, say, paycheck that comes in, a certain amount goes in there every month and just starts to accumulate a fund that you don't touch, right? It's not your fund money. It's your home buying slush fund that in a year or two can add up really fast. Another good tip is to start paying like your new mortgage payment will be. So if you're paying rent right now at 2,500, let's say, and your mortgage will be estimated at say 3,000, what if you started spending 3,000 a month by paying your rent and putting the extra 500 in that savings account just so that you get used to the lifestyle of that new mortgage payment. This is gonna be much less of a shock when you finally do buy a home. You already know how to live in that budget with that monthly payment. Okay, so I'm not coming at you with Dave Ramsey advice here, but cut non-essential spending just in the time period leading up to purchasing a home. And this doesn't have to be drastic stuff. I mean, what if you brewed your own coffee instead of hitting Starbucks for a couple of months? I mean, lots of folks in the United States are spending 10 to $20 on coffee alone every single day. I mean, that's hundreds of dollars a month that if you can make yourself a latte at home, uh, I'll send you some recipes. You can use the almond milk or the oat milk and make an awesome latte and save up thousands of dollars over the next year just by saving on coffee. Third tip is to actually put together a household budget. It's crazy how many Americans don't have a budget that they actually look at every month. Okay, this is how much I'm making. Here's what I've got for fixed expenses. Hey, I've got to have some fun money to go play with my friends and go on travel and trips. But let's actually create a simple budget in writing so that you know, one, is buying a home actually in the cards? Can it fit in here? Can I make the puzzle work? Or do I need to wait a little bit longer? So get with us. We have ways that we can help you build a budget. We've got local lenders too that help you build that budget to make sure that you're comfortable when you do buy and you haven't made yourself house poor. Hey, tip number four is look into tax benefits you can do by owning homes and buying your first home. Now, we as realtors cannot give tax advice, but there are vehicles like Roth IRAs and other accounts that you can accumulate money and not get penalized from a tax perspective when you pull it out to purchase a home. So look into that. And uh, there's a lot in Colorado, especially of first time home buyer and potentially move up buyer incentives to help with down payment and grants, et cetera. So talk to us about those different loan types. We're actually helping buyers get in, sometimes with zero down out of pocket, 3%, 5%. So that's a reminder too, that you don't need 20% saved up to get into your dream home. Fifth and final tip prepping for a home purchase is keep your debt in check. Now, in the United States, debt at a household level is at an all-time high. Don't fall into the trap of just putting everything on the next credit card on the next credit card. Uh, you know, consider this. You've got credit card payments, car payments, student loans for lots of us. You know, it's a lot of things against your debt to income ratio that's gonna make a difference in what interest rate you get and whether you qualify for a mortgage. So instead of buying that new fancy car, what if you drove the car that you already have paid off for a year, let's say, or two years? or you got a used car that has a really low payment. You know, Put things on a budget instead of a credit card. So just keep your debt in check because a lot of people make enough money to buy a home, but then they realize they go to get a mortgage pre-approval. Whoops, we've got too much debt and they have to go back to the drawing boards and knock down a lot of that debt. Now, before you go paying off every credit card and every car loan in one fell swoop, talk to us because there are times when you can accidentally hurt your uh, credit score by paying down all of your balances. So that's why we work with our go-to lenders that help you come up with a credit plan that works best for mortgage. Now it might seem like knocking out $20,000 in credit card debt's the smart thing to do, but from a mortgage perspective, they might actually be able to qualify you better if say you only pay out off half of that now and use the other cash to do other things in the down payment. So don't make any assumptions, call us first. That's why we strategize with folks even a year plus before they actually buy a home because we can go over these things, make sure you've built a really solid plan. When you pull the trigger, there's no surprises and you're gonna be a lot happier with your household 
budget every month. And here's a bonus tip because we've had clients do this is start a side hustle. It doesn't have to be huge, but you can, uh, you know, work online. A lot of people, you know, teach English online or work overseas, work a remote job part time. Uh, of course, there's the rideshare apps. You could, you know, bartend a couple nights a week and make really nice income there on the side. There's a lot of different creative ways you can have fun using skills that you already have to single handedly with a side hustle, build up your down payment. So really nice tip. Get after it. I hope to see you at the brewery soon.